is a little bit of patience. I've been trying to tell y'all. Remember that. 2024 cleaning up. Not 1974 cleaning up. Are you serious? Are you are you serious? You thought you could come for me. Really? Well, let's see. Let's see, shall we? Let's see. Let's start right here. Let's start right here. All it takes is a little patience. You all haven't been patient. This is what y'all been waiting on. Y'all been waiting all this time. There was never any reason for it up until right now. Up until right now. Now there is a reason for it. What I won't do, what I won't do is have a pseudo lesbian a pseudo non-lesbian with a 1974 push down telling me nothing about my looks and telling me nothing about my movement nor playing any kind of games. Now, this is the thing. We've always moved with just a tinge of respect for one another. You thought that I was slow. There's nothing slow about me, darling. There's never been anything slow about me. You all wanted to see a fight that there was no fight to be had. Okay, so you're talking about somebody bullying. You don't want to be bullying anybody. I've never had any reason to actually drag this child. So that's why I never dragged her. Somebody said that this was for you. Somebody said that that was for you. Somebody said fuck somebody said. I'm sick of somebody said. When I went to said pseudo lesbian, she said, oh no. No, no. Now, I mean, because see, here's the thing. You've been keeping track. I've been keeping track. Every time it was brought to you, because I always brought it to you in front of the people, because it's always been about the people. I don't talk to you behind those scenes. I've never contacted you, never had a reason to. I've always talked to you dead up in your face. Because it's always, you scared of her, you scared of her. See, that's the difference between me and a whole lot of these gumps that be running around in this sector. See, I don't care about nobody telling me I'm scared of nobody. Because I ain't scared of nobody. And I don't know where that even came from. Because whenever I need to move on a hoe, I moves on the hoe. Now it's time for me to move on you, hoe. Period. Period. 
And like I said, when I came and sat in front of you, when you came back, okay, girl, this is what's being said. This is what's been being said. Do you feel like I'm scared of you? Well, uh, no, 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 I don't feel like you're scared of me. Good, you shouldn't. Isn't that what I told you? See, my energy has always been exactly the same. If you ain't giving me that energy, why would I give that energy back to you? That would be considered bullying. Because it don't matter what someone said, you say it back in the day. And especially when you're sitting there in my face saying, no, that's not true. No, that's not what I meant. No, that's not. There's no need to take and jump all over you. That would be bullying. That would be bullying. But see, there's the difference between you and I. Now, you done sat around and I came to you. I let you say whatever it was you wanted to say. I know your undercurrents. I know your sideways talking. I know all those things about you. I know all those things about you because just like you've been watching me, I've been watching you. I've been watching you. And I know when you're trying to be slick and I know when you're trying to be shady and I let you have your way. I let you throw little shade, because what does it mean? You threw your shade, I wasn't busted a sweat, it wasn't no big deal. Because at the end of the day, you were still saying, no, I don't know, oh no. So now today, you done got in your feelings, because I went and told you, no, I don't like what you said. And it was fine. That's why we're here 92 days later, because you were fine until people start tapping on you and telling you, girl, he dragged you, girl, he dragged you. And in turn, you over there telling stupid ass Reed, girl, he dragged you. I ain't drag Reed. I did not drag Reed. Everybody. Come on. I didn't drag Reed. I told Reed exactly what I thought. She was doing too much, period. She was doing too much. Because again, you had Reed believing that I'm slow or that I don't see the two of y'all. I see y'all and I see all of what's around y'all. Ain't no real big deal. But Reed, keep sitting there listening to her, okay? Keep sitting there listening to her. But, uh -uh. and I'm gonna tell you where that little piece that little piece of respect that I used to try to lay on you and say, okay, girl, this is, yeah, go ahead, girl. What's up, girl? And, and all of the niceties that I afforded you, you forfeited the niceties that I afforded you when you sat over there and you laid out with your conversation with, I ain't scared of James. I'm not, a, I ain't a scared of no James Caldwell. Then guess what you just became? just like everybody else that you claim is so scared of me. Because why are you leading out with that foolishness? Why are you leading out with that foolishness when you know in your spirit you wanted to come for me? See, I was there when you pushed the button and I watched you. I watched you. I watched you build your little bit of testosterone up enough to say what you really wanted to say and you still didn't really say what you wanted to say until you saw my button get pushed and you saw that I was going to clean up. But you asked for the broom, didn't you? You asked for the broom and called me a bald-headed, weird-looking, some old shit you said. Some old shit you said while you walking around in the streets wearing uh, Cindy Lauper dresses from 1980, but you talking about I'm weird-looking. Press and curl much? Are you kidding? When it comes to looks, no, dear. You're completely behind the eight ball. So we won't even go with all that. You so goddamn out of touch with some shit. Totally out of touch. And I ain't, I don't want to hear none of that stuff that he be said. Mm -mm, you want to hear what I got to say. You would. Maybe you don't. Maybe it's your people that would want to hear what I got to say. 
Because, see, I'm ready to talk some real shit to you. Some real shit. See, your people are scared of you. And I'm going to talk that real shit to you. The dumb hoes over there is scared to talk to you, cult leader. Okay? I ain't got nothing to do with all that old bullshit. Until you step over the line and get out of order, you're out of order, bitch. You're out of order. Now we're going to talk. Now we're going to talk. But yeah, no respect. None. I'm the creator of the beefing sector. Then throw me out then, bitch. Because see, we'll go with the history. You started off, right? I'm the creator of the beef sector. James didn't start the beef sector. You damn right I didn't start the beef sector. What the fuck kind of legacy would that be to tell some motherfucker I started here? See, if I started here, in the beef sector, then I'd be as irrelevant as you everywhere else, wouldn't I? Wouldn't I? Now let's let's talk about it, because you got your history backwards too. Create whore. You over there? He's part. Him and Sean and Nika's part of that. No, 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 no. You even had Nika working for you at one point, and you don't even know her history. You the one that supposedly emerged her back into the streets after me and Sean supposedly took her down and ran her off the streets. You were her great emergence back to the streets, but you don't know the bitch's background? Explain yourself, creator. You the queen, right? That offended you because I said you not the queen. You not. You not. You not. I said what I said. Ain't no queen and no king of no beefing sector as pertains to me. Never has been, never will be. I'm mother, period. I wouldn't give a fuck who any of the rest of y'all were down on the beefing sector. I'm mother, period. One man army. I ain't no cult leader. I ain't got no cult, and I ain't got nobody running around here scared of me. Anybody who's scared of me, I don't. They scared because of some other reason. It ain't because I'm holding things over their head and making them scared to move. It ain't because I'm blackmailing them and making them scared to move. See, that ain't me, boo boo. That's not my game at all. That's not my game. But they were part of the blackout. We were never part of the blackout. None of us, me, Sean, nor Nika. We were not part of that blackout at all. Never was. So while you're trying to tell some history, make sure you have it. You don't know nothing about us. Just say that. Just say that. You don't know about us. Now, here's the thing. You're the creator and the queen of the beefing sector how we end up being who we are, you don't know about us means that you fell down on the job, right, creator? How is there three motherfuckers so significant in a sector and you run in the sector, right? You run in the sector from cell block eight, but you can't control our placement in the sector. Sounds like an oxymoron to me. Sound like an oxymoron to me. Now, truth, Sean Bradley, yes, absolutely. See, I ain't never going to hurt him unless I intend to hurt him. Did he introduce? Absolutely, Sean introduced me to the sector. Did I want to come into the sector? Absolutely not. I told him to leave the shit alone. And the sector itself, it wasn't even a sector. The reason why you knew Sean Bradley, tell the truth, VS. Tell the truth about why you know Sean Bradley. You won't do it, will you? You won't do it. You knew Sean Bradley and you start fighting with Sean Bradley because Sean Bradley took attention to you. He found out who you were and he came after your cult. Oh, see, they don't like this type of teaching. They do not like this type of teaching at all. At all. Yes, 
Tell the truth and shame the devil. You and Sean Bradley's situation is a situation always because he came for your cult, little lady. Isn't that right? That cult of tricks that you had over there, he came for them. He came to clear you up. He was going to sweep it right from up underneath you with the help of on-site April. Help me somebody. Now, tell the real history. You want to tell the history? Tell the history. Tell the history. Oh, well, no, uh, yeah, uh, you know, uh, John Gacy, Sean Gacy, that was, that was really, that was for James. So today, that was for me. But you forgot I asked you in your face. And no, 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 no. So which is it? Are you lying tonight or were you lying back then? Hmm? No, 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 no. Oh, no. You had a problem with Shelly and you had a problem with Nika when you come back off your hiatus. You had a problem with them. I had a problem with Nika too. Now, I didn't really have a problem with Shelly at the time, but it was a two for one. And yes, I allowed it to happen. I sure did. Just while everybody was sitting around, oh, she's playing in your face. She's playing in your face. I done told you all. I don't know why in the fuck y'all think that I'm slow. There ain't a motherfucking thing slow about me. Can't no bitch down here play in my face without me playing up underneath they chin. Okay? Not near bitch. Don't ever get it fucked up. Don't ever get it fucked up. I'm always on, just like I'm always camera ready. Y'all ain't got no camera slips. You ain't got no slips of movement either. I pays attention. I'm on my game. Y'all think whatever y'all want to think. I knew exactly what was going on. I've always known what was going on with you. Even when you was calling yourself lining me up with Sean, you was trying to line yourself up to get ready for me because you thought I was going to stomp you out for messing with Sean. Tell the truth. You know what it is. I ain't never been scared of you. I was never in a position to be trying to get ready for you, but you was getting ready for me. What not you? What not you? You were searching around trying to get shit together so you could battle with me. I ain't trying to get shit together to battle with you because, like I said, you were irrelevant to me, young lady. You were irrelevant. You wasn't nobody. You wasn't nobody. You was a bitch that had a group of clowns who allowed you to play in their face, play with their dead relatives and all the shit that, oh, it's so terrible. Oh, and Jay Dunn. Wasn't you one of the main ones that she played with and you cried about for years and now you've been baited back in so she could try to do her big one? I'm not going to be Jay Dunn's big one and I definitely ain't getting ready to be your big one, sis. And all you can do is go on back. I'll come on out and make another video about you. You should. You should. Because ain't nothing wrong with my button. Ain't nothing wrong with my button. We'll be making videos about to fuck each other. And no, I don't want to tap on your old sordid past. That don't excite me. That don't excite me. What excites me is the fact that you think that you really be doing it. Doing it and doing it well. And the people don't see you. Well, I guess I ain't the people because I've always seen you. I've seen you the long way and ain't never been worried about you. So all those with the, oh, he's scared. My ass. Scared of what? A cut from Virginia? Are you kidding? Girl plays. Girl plays. Scared of you for what? What you going to do? We going to dox me? You going to come down and say something? We just going to say something real fancy that ain't nobody never said? Huh? Be our guest. Be our guest. Put your body to the test. Tell them anything you want. You tell them anything you want, and I'm going to drag you with the facts of your actual life. The facts, dear. Cult leader. People scared of you because you got them under lock and key. Got them scared to move. I wasn't in your cult, dear. I wasn't in your cult, dear. 
Okay. Now, Sean Bradley came for you the long way. He had disgruntled members and people who have fallen out with you came to his platform. So you needed to eradicate him because how dare he? He dared. He dared. He dared. He did okay for a while. But see, Sean Bradley is a weak bitch. And you ran him off. You, he was a weak bitch. Five A did the exact same thing to him. He got started in it, and she ran him off. You should have learned something from that. I ain't running no goddamn where. Do you understand? I ain't never moved. I ain't being moved. Ain't think about you. And no, I ain't that. You saying go ahead and clean me up? That wasn't the threat, and you know it wasn't the threat. Don't you try to lay down and play victim, creator. Stand your ass up and be who it is that you claim you are. Get up. Get up, bitch. And do what it is that you claim that you do. Don't you dare lay down and try to play victim. I'm not afraid of you. You ain't supposed to be afraid of nobody, are you? You ain't supposed to be afraid of nobody. Right? You're the leader. The fuck you laying down for? Get on up. The hell? Because sure enough, that whole thing, now you want to try to paint me out to be a predator and you want to do all this and play all them games? Girl, please. Please. Go on and see if you could get it to stick. Who cares? Nobody cares. No one cares. No one cares because I ain't no predator. Just like you ain't Charles Manson. You're not Charles Manson, dear. See, Charles Manson was a cult leader. And he was very successful. He was very successful. But just like all cult leaders, they do real well for a minute, for a period of time. And then shit falls off and then they get done by the people that are right by them. So while you run around trying to put a battery in Reed's back, you better watch her. You better watch her. You better watch her. Because I hope you know Reed like we know Reed. New toy. New toy, Reed. Hmm? Please. All that shit y'all got going on is some bullshit. All of it. Every bit of it is bullshit. And then you backpedaling and pussy popping. You got your balls. You dropped your nuts, ma'am. Once you seen that I pushed the button, you're like, oh, God. You thought that I was going to play cool and be nice like I usually do. But no, I pushed the button and said, welcome to Treasure Lane. Duh. How long did you think he was going to go on with that bullshit? See, the threat was not, I'm not scared of you. The threat was, I'll pull out women's empowerment. Well, I told you the other day, and ain't nothing changed. I don't give a fuck about you and your woman's empowerment. It's all bullshit that you're talking about. First of all, how can you be women's empowerment calling yourself King Dangling? That is the most backwards bullshit that I've ever heard of in my life. Do you know that women's empowerment is really about feminism? What female is calling themselves King Dangling and then you turn around and say you ain't no lesbian? So which is it? Now you said it mixed signals. You said it mixed, mixed signals. Because how can you be King Dingling? How can you lead the charge for the lesbians? You ain't one of them. So you just go and try to blanket it with you a black woman. Are you? Are you? King Dingling? King Dingling don't say woman's empowerment. King Dingling don't say feminism. King Dingling say bulldagging ass stud. That's what King Dingling says. So ball of confusion, ball of confusion. And that whole thing of, oh, what he said about Fifi and banging out her cuckoo, I'm a man. I'm a man. 
and I have a penis. Rather, I use it on females or whoever. I'm a man with a penis. So it was what it was. Oh, I was disgusted. I didn't like it. Okay, you may not have liked it. And guess what? That's fair. That's fair. But um, again, you're going to lead a woman's movement and you're going to lead the, the lesbians. Y'all do know she got a song over there singing, I hum on his balls. Y'all like that? Now, see, I'm a little older than you. I ain't never heard no lesbian or no damn feminist that thinks that I hum on his balls was no catchy tune. You singing a song talking about humming on somebody's scrotum sack is no different than me talking about getting a little taste of Miss Fifi. And see, here's the thing. If you can't reverse Fifi and get Fifi to say, oh, no, I'm so offended by what he said. Oh, I feel, oh, I feel like it, it just violated me. If you can't convert Fifi to say that, then we really don't have no problem, do we? Do we? See, because last I checked, Fifi agreed. Oh, yeah. If he was straight, baby, he'd be tearing it up. Ain't that what Fifi said? You have to try something else. That ain't gonna work. But no, fake feminist, pseudo non-lesbian, girl, psh, all of that's a mess. All of that is a mess. It's a mess. And Vegas Gate, you talking about Vegas Gate? Guess what you can't have if you don't have who? Is there a Vegas Gate without me? Because we talking about Who's important? Who ain't important? And who, who? Can you have a Vegas gate without me? I don't think so. I don't think so. Can you have a Vegas gate without mother? I don't think so. And then all of this, I took up for you and for you ain't took up for me in front of no goddamn body. What you thought you were doing was checking me. That's what you were doing. You thought I didn't see you coming. Oh no, you know, y'all, y'all just y'all let and you letting um them people talk to you any kind of way. See, you thought you was working me. You thought you was working me. And I'm laughing at you the whole time. That, like I said, I already had an issue with Nika that I just hadn't come out with it for the streets. Shelly, me and Shelly go back and forth. Now, that was a surprise that Shelly had said some things. That was cool. So again, yeah, you got rid of two people at once and so the fuck did I. So your little plan, it worked for me and it worked for you. But again, you put it as a feather in your cap and you've been keeping keeping tabs. I've been keeping tabs too. Your next thing was you going, because you felt like you separated me away from Nika. I was already separated, dear. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. We didn't have a friendship that was built on anything at that point. We were separated, but still sitting in the same space. Guess what me and Nika is right now? We're separated, but we're still occupying the same space. We're still occupying the same space. Still occupying the same space. And it ain't no issue. Same thing with Shelly, occupying the same space. Me and Shelly been occupying the same space for years for years. Didn't even speak to each other for years. Then you thought you was going to separate me from Pizarro and Brie and a lot of the other content creators. That was your thing because you thought you was going to manipulate me into feeling like they don't respect you. So you really should just go, go where? Go where? Go where? They disrespect you. Okay, this is the beefing sector. This is the beefing sector. There is a constant X on my back. Why? Because of my numbers. Because of my numbers and because of my presence. I could have 10 people in the room 
on a on a thing. This whole account can go away and I can come back as somebody else. And as soon as I click on the button and they see who it is, people are going to still come to see what I got to say. But them numbers mean something to you because you want bragging rights over shit. Well, go on and brag. Who cares? Who cares? See, I know the truth. I know you insignificant. Like, you know you insignificant. I ain't trying to have no hold on nobody. You mad because you don't have a hold on people like you wanted to, like you one time did. Cult leader gone away from the cult. Hmm. That don't work out so good. Even if you got worker bees running around working for you while you supposedly ain't here. When you got weak bitches like Duchess Kelly Love, yeah, I seen you, Duchess. I seen you run your bald headed ass on over there. Do boy to the rescue. And then she said too much. And you got the fuck up out of there, didn't you, Duchess? That was another one. You ain't like that either, did you, VS? You went and Talked a little too slick. And Dutch has got the fuck on down. How your do boy ran off? Not my fault. Not my fault. You over there chastising them folks. He called y'all hoes and did. And did. All the hoes in question knew who they were. Guilty as charged. The ladies, because see, there was ladies in your chat too. There's ladies in your chat. There's some queens in your chat. There's some lovely souls in your chat, but you also got a place full of hoes. And like I said, well, you thought I was going to take it back? Hoes. Hoes. Birds of a feather flock together, right, ho? I said what I said, and I meant every motherfucking word. You sat over there and tried to shame them. Look up, look up, look up, V. 1,405 people in the room. Guess what? The hoes are present. The hoes is present. Not my fault. Not my fault. I ain't beef sector. Isn't that what you said? See, this ain't about being beef sector. This is about being James. Don't matter whether you say I'm beef sector or not. You the creator, right? Kick me out. You the queen, right? Kick me the fuck out. That's all you got to do. Because you wanted me to walk out. That's what that was about. They disrespect you. I don't even know why you do. You know, you got these numbers and this. And I know it probably hurts your throat to sit over there and acknowledge about my numbers and shit. When you was trying to run that little game. See, Bree and them didn't like it. They ain't like what you had to say. There's uh, she trying to start trouble. And I'm like, I ain't even saying nothing. I just let them do what they do. And like, y'all don't have to, you know, I see this bitch. I see this bitch coming. The bitch is riding a tricycle. I see her. She rolling up on me like that little man from Saul. I see the bitch. I see her. That's why I tell y'all, let me fight for me. You tell me what you want to tell me, and I got you. I got you. Just like Reed. I didn't disrespect Reed. I told Reed I heard what she said. Did I value any of what Reed was saying? No, because Reed was on some fuck shit. The first thing she said, I said, I got you. I heard you, Reed. But then when she kept going, it was fuck shit. And no, I didn't receive it because she could let it choke her, because I didn't give a fuck. I didn't want to hear it. See, she walked away, and she tried to make you feel good today. Well, I didn't even hear what he said to me after I left, because I, I was so mad, and I left. What was you mad at, Reed? Mad at what? I didn't call you no bitches and whores. I didn't call you a crook or sack of motherfuckers. None of that. I actually talked decent to you, Reed. But you could allow her to lead you. Tell her to loosen up your choke chain a little bit, Reed. Or don't. Or don't. Or don't. But I seen your girl in her tricycle, honey. I seen her. And I didn't walk 
away. I didn't get mad at the beefing sector and say, you know, you're right. You know, you're right. You know why, VS? You know why I didn't say, you're right, and get mad at all the beefing sector and then leave? Because I ain't no weak bitch. And can't no weak bitch convince me of how to deal with a whole group of people. That ain't me. You have to find another one to rise up from the ashes. Go rise Sean back up and rejuvenate him. You knocked his career off, not me. You knocked his space off in the beefing sector. I didn't do it. Go raise him back up. Is that what we're doing here? Are we putting life back into that raggedy mouth phoenix, honey? But to try to run me, never will happen. Will never happen at all. Mother, that really says it all. You don't have to to uh, refer to me as mother, but you know what the time it is. You know, you've always known. You've always known. You knew I wasn't scared of your ass. You knew I wasn't bothered by your ass. You, at some point, I don't know, I think just your narcissism Tells you, no, I, yeah, I could get to him. I can actually, I can maneuver him. You ain't never been able to maneuver me. I've always been looking dead in your face and at the side of your hard-pressed goddamn greasy head. You a whole goddamn joke out in these streets trying to run somebody. And as far as I helped you with Skillet, when did you help me with Skillet, sweetie? Now, who in the fuck you think you talking to? When did you help me with Skillet? I went to court, didn't I? So what help did you give me? I had two court dates with her. What did you help on? Huh? What'd you help on? Now, you love to, to display some shit. Throw them emails out. I was behind the scenes and yeah, you sent me some emails. Show the people what the responses was. Mm, oh, well, all right. Oh, mm, mm. She says she won an apology. Hell no. Those were the words. That was the longest email you got from me. Hell no. But other than that, it was, mm, oh, mm, oh, girl, please. Oh, wow. Mm. You said, what? What you say? Are you stupid? Or you just look that way? You stupid as fuck talking to me like that crazy. You are out of your fucking mind. You ain't helped me with shit. We went to court and it was what it was. It was thrown the fuck out like it should have been. Like it should have been. That wasn't nothing but some bullshit. That was, again, I'm adding up the times when I did things to help you. You ain't never done nothing to help me. I didn't need you to tell nobody in the beef sector that they shouldn't be disrespecting me because I'm an OG while you sitting around calling yourself disrespecting me. If that was the case, you should have been respecting me yourself. You was taking too many little shots. You got me fucked up along the way. I said, girl, she done flattened one of the tires on that goddamn tricycle while she running around in a circle. You was clowning, sis. You was clowning. And I was sitting right along, right alongside you with a balloon. Yay, girl. Yeah, I'm at the party. Bitch. <laughs> Get the fuck on out of here, bitch. Girl, the fuck? I'm 52. 52. Are you fucking kidding? I've been in the playground a long time. And trust me, when you was riding on that goddamn trust, that bitch. <laughs> Go on with yourself, girl. That shit's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Help me with the case. Because she would have some papers on him. Would I? Would I? Would I, would I have papers on me? And how, and how do I not have papers on me? Huh? I was calling the people at the court. Funny. Your name never came up during the court case. You stopped it though, right? Because you powerful. So you want the people to believe that you so powerful that you called the courthouse 
and stop the court case that was not Skillet versus James, but the state of Pennsylvania versus James. You so powerful that you stopped it. Yet, you couldn't stop your own shit. Help me somebody. You was gone for how long? But you are so powerful that you stopped my shit. Come again? Now, who's stupid? Me or is it the hoes that you were speaking for? And then you tried to get the hoes together and said, right before when the, when the shit dropped, you already knew. They already was tying up their shoes to leave to come on over here. You, I'm disappointed in all of you. I said, look at the call. Here we go with the cult shit. Come on, American Horror Story. Is it American Horror Story or American Horror Story? I'm disappointed in all of you. I'm disappointed in you all and this, that, and the other. And and then I was attacked over there and he's a bully. He's bullying people and this, that, and the other. No, he's not a bully, dear. He's not a bully. He's a very attentive sissy that ain't thinking about your hard-pressed motherfucking hairdo wearing ass. That's who he is. It ain't about bullying. It ain't about none of that. It's about you a clown out in these streets and you ain't running shit. That's what it's about. Woman's empowerment, my black ass, okay? Now, that's that. You have to find something else. But to try to convince black women that I don't like them, that ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. And again, coming from a pseudo, non-lesbian, Singing about sucking scrotum. Girl, go on. And calling yourself King Dingling. You're not King Dingling, dear. That would be me. I have the Dingling in this situation. You don't have a Dingling, dear. You don't. You don't. At all. Dildos don't count. period. And I don't want you to be scared of me. It's nothing to be scared of me about. We know you're not scared of me. What'd you say about my cancer sales? Mm, had to go there, huh? Why? Why'd you have to drop all the way down there? You've been playing nice ever since you've been back. Why'd you have to drop all the way down to something about my cancer sales? And would you say I had HIV? Really? Really? No, the one, you know who actually has HIV that was in your chat talking? That little child from New York? See, he has HIV. Period. And why he thought it was cute to be down in there, I'm like, look at him. Just as stupid. Just as stupid. Being led. That's the one that told you he was going to spit on you, didn't he? See, you want to come for me, but you got a punk in your chat. Who told you he was spitting your face? Oh, so you talking about my history. Didn't Rico tell you he was going to spit in your face? Didn't he? And then he told you that again. In your face, didn't he? And what'd you do? You gave him a ride home. And you want me to be scared of you. What? You want to control my platform and tell me who can be on my platform and who can't be on my platform? What? Come again? I I don't know, but I would take a whole chance on saying that uh, no cult leader that I've ever known of would allow anyone to tell them in their face that they will spit in their face and then they give them a nice ride home in a car and let them sit behind them in the back seat. Bad decisions, bad decisions, but you want people to believe that you kept my shit together. Please. Next, next. So what else is it that I'm supposed to be 
so up in arms now with you? I should be grateful to you. Why again? Huh? Why am I supposed to be grateful to you? See, now you're talking. Don't owe you nothing. Ain't thinking about you. Seeing you coming. Watched you trying to build that whole thing. You ain't never done nothing for me. You always had an ulterior motive. You've always been trying to get in the back door. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. My back door stays locked. And I be sitting there with grease on the stove. I'm not that girl. I don't know who you thought you was dealing with, but I'm not that girl. Not at all. Not at all. And again, Choose your words wisely. Don't open up when you think you get ready to deal with a bad bitch with, I ain't scared of you. Uh, you're telling the truth. You're telling the truth. You may not be scared, but you nervous as hell. And I don't know why. Why be nervous? Just shut up. That's all you got to do is shut up. You don't bring me no drama. I don't bring you no drama. You keep talking shit. You'll be handled like everybody else. You are not special. You're not special. You're not even significant. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave now. I've said what I had to say. Now, I'm going to make another video. Well, go right ahead. Go right ahead. And don't nobody care about no weak reads. Don't nobody care about no shit from the yesteryear, about no fucking kids, some shit you ain't got no paperwork to substantiate. Nobody cares about that. 2024, you running plays and riding down the streets of the goddamn beefing sector, pretending to be their queen on a goddamn tricycle and fucked up and rode down Treasure Lane and ran over a pebble and fell in front of my steps. Bitch, if you don't get the fuck on up off my motherfucking sidewalk and go on about your goddamn business, you just sweat it out your perm, bitch. Goodbye. Get the fuck out of here. Simple ass.